That's good. And then he can go, go, go live. Yeah. Erasing okay. relevant then, histories. I don't have a class or race or gender. The yeah. argument yeah. is something like, Histories come from specific locations, socioeconomic and racial context. Objectivity is not possible. Hey, so this if is you live now? To yeah, we're live. So introduce your nickname, you whatever you want to be called. Well, social uh, hey, everybody. I was just throwing, throwing in. I just came to have a look and I was asked to go on. My name's Finney. And... Um, yeah, hey, let's do it. What do we have to do? So, no, I'm not high at all. Definitely not. I'm just, uh, I'm, yeah, no, no, man, I'm not high. I'm going to oh, set a no. few guidelines for the questions that we're going to ask, and the questions are to be on topic, um, first of all, and if they're not on topic, then expect that you'll be banned at least for five minutes, if not 24 hours. Uh, I actually went to Gabinda's for That's dinner good. tonight and I had the all you can eat and I had lots of lemon and ginger. And what we'll be addressing are the questions from the web form on here that Shannon can read out for us and then I'll look at the chat so we, yeah. we can kind of discuss yeah, what's yeah. Like going on there. Yeah, what question do you have for us? What are you guys doing about hygiene? About hygiene? Well, um, I don't think there's any hygiene problems at the moment because there's toilets downstairs. I mean, there's toilets everywhere. We have, um, yeah, yeah we're used. pretty good. Okay, there's showers at uh, Rover Street Station that can be used. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Next question. Okay. What do you think you can possibly accomplish with occupation, which isn't even civil disobedience? which disrupts industry, but what is the effect in just camping? I think it's putting the message out there. It's showing, it's part of a larger global movement of showing that there's actually something going on in the world and having every city, yeah, well, not every city, but like having so many cities around the world showing this movement is emphasizing to the world that something really is happening around here. Like, Cool. Yes, but if you're um, if you're not creating problems for the society, why should they change for your benefit? I mean, if you're only camping, why don't they just ignore you? Well, well, basically, you can try. I mean, they can try to ignore what's happening here, but that doesn't really stop the problem because something is inherently wrong with the system. So. How, I mean, you can ignore for as much as you want, but eventually the problems are going to raise. So, yeah. I mean, the problems are going to come into the public knowledge. So, yeah, there's really no ignoring this issue. Okay. How do you see your occupation of Brisbane ending? Uh, through change, and that's the only way. It can only end through change. So, I mean... Uh, yeah, that's the only way it can end, like, this, yeah, <laughs> through okay. change of something. Why were conspiracy mongering movies such as Zeitgeist, Wake Up Call being played? Doesn't that send a horrible message and immediately make it easy for this to be dismissed as a fringe movement? Uh, well... I mean, films like Zeitgeist, it's really like, most films have opened a lot of people's minds, and most films have like, shown a lot of people that um, there is different points of view out there, and I think we all can like, look at things skeptically, and we don't have to take everything on board. Uh, us. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Okay, so one of the... The chat responses was exactly what kind of change are you looking for? That was for the previous uh, question. question yeah. um, sort of change I'm looking for is I'm not really too sure. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So then, I don't think there's a definite. Um, there's a dissatisfaction of general uh, government consensus and what the corporations are doing when they're running the country. And um, 
that's just being expressed by us saying that we're taking a stand here. Um, hmm. So, sorry, I'll bring back the chat window. See what's next. Yeah, that's cool. Um, okay, so. <laughs> Yeah, with the Hollywood film or bank uh, films that advertise when you log on to the live stream, that's because this isn't a premium uh, live stream channel. It actually is paid for by the ads so that live stream can host this uh, stream. Um, let's see. How about stopping? stopping corporations from being able to lobby political groups? Um, well, in my my personal opinion, that's um, I think that's really important. I think Don't that's really important. Yeah, I think issue. that's really important. And we uh, for us to have an awareness of that, I don't think there's any direct action mm. that we would be taking on that as a form of change right now, you know? Mm. So if you guys could continue raising awareness as such issues about corporations being able to lobby political groups, that would be important. Yeah, I agree. Um, was thinking, do you want a question from here? Yeah, yeah get a question. Um, people are... Uh, People want to know about you filtering questions. If you can explain that. Well, that wouldn't be for. Okay. Would that be for me to explain or Good someone point. else? All right, believe that. Uh, okay. So there was a comment on me being very harsh with the um, filtering. So I want to set the guidelines of when I'm uh, actually on the moderating the YouTube. Is that it? You stay on topic with the question that we're answering answering at the moment that whatever's being interviewed at this time is that you're on topic otherwise yeah we'll ban, uh, ban you for a period of time um, I'll chip in that, would you I'll, like to I'll comment? just subtly chip in here I'm actually moderating at the moment not Tommy so if you happen to see Tommy banning you it's actually a completely different person cool There's, yeah okay, okay. Cool. <laughs> Um, people want to know how this movement can be successful when you have an ambiguous message and try to be everything to anyone, everyone. Don't you think it would be prudent to offer a positive alternative? Um. Yeah, I'm not. A common goal, a common, or a common understanding. Yeah. Yeah, I guess what brings us all together is um, the common understanding that we do want something to change in the system, or we do want the system to change. So. Yeah, we're all individuals. Uh, all right, next question then. Uh, people would uh, like to see some women on, you know, get some gender equality. We actually have a girl over here in the background to begin her part. Uh, there are there are women around here, but do you have any comments on that on uh, gender equality, women in the camp? Um, yeah, I have noticed like there are a lot more guys around, and it would be lovely to see some some more girls around as well. But I think the atmosphere here is really positive, and I think as people just keep on coming, they're going to see that. So yeah, just come and get involved. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, so then there was a question from the chat which was, I was just wondering if it's cool for me to come back and get some portraits and also is there room for another tent? Yeah, there's definitely room for another tent. There's room for heaps more tents. And, come on um, down. Yeah, come on down. That's a personal question if we're to answer on a scale ten, uh, 1 to 10. 10 being worse, how corrupt do you think Australia is in general? Oh, this, actually someone in the forum is answering, so... 7.5. You can see there's uh, personal opinions there. Yeah, I don't really have an opinion on that. I um, I think we're all just... Uh, I think, of, yeah. yeah. Products we, of our environment. It's one big system like the Matrix, so I'm a little bit sceptical. Yeah. <laughs> I'm high up there. Um, for people complaining about the feed being choppy or the sound uh, being shot, 
We're using a wireless dongle. We're not going to have consistent issues, I'm afraid. We'll do the best we can to try and help you out. Sorry about that. On back to a question, people want to know about, um, someone has asked, you seem to be talking about a more direct form of democracy. That's not novel. Why are you choosing an occupation as a way of bringing this about? Um, I guess an occupation is showing a lot of people that there's an alternative. Do you agree? That there's an, I guess, an occupation showing people that there is an alternative way of living. And I mean, like, everybody's getting fed here every night. And yeah, I think it's creating a community and a community of people who know that there's, who understand that there's a problem. So, so it's interesting. Um, like some of the comments from uh, John Smith, I, I think um, corporations do have a place in society. So, I'm not about completely abolishing them. I'm more after a reform of how they get their resources and how they use them. So, at the moment, live stream is paid by ads. Who have the ads? Who gets the money from the ads? Whoever you know plays the ads, so that's how it's paid for. And if we want an ad-free version, it'd be 350 bucks, you know. Um, but is there another question, Charlie? Or yep, there we is. can go to one um, here. Your demands are your demands for amorphous uh, amorphous change is dangerous. It's not possible to be everything to everyone. There will inevitably be a plural. plural <laughs> Man, these are some long words. Plurality of interest, but you can't be everything to everyone. Ah, <sighs> uh, what's a plurality of interest? Um, I mean, multiple, multiple, multiple interests. Yeah, okay. Yep. Well, of course, like, of course, but... Oh, shared interests, actually. They're talking about there will be shared interest, but you can't be everything to everyone. Yeah, of course, and I mean... And I mean, well, that's so true, so... Um... At the moment, we're not... I got him. We're not specifying anything in particular. Yeah, I mean, we? we're, we're, we're kind of bringing together individuals and individual opinions yeah. so that we can discuss things in a proper democracy. Yeah, so this is this is understanding that there is a problem and we are looking for a solution, and the strongest solution will rise to the top. The solution will be the most true. Multiple solutions, I mean, solutions right, that we discussed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Hey, everybody, just for a second. This is this is Documentary starting in 20 minutes it's called The American Dream. It's about the Federal Reserve System, how it got started by the Rothschilds, and everyone's welcome to come and watch. It'd be great if you could. Thank you. The more Very people who learn, the more people who watch get more informed, and we learn more every day about what we're protesting against. So that's what it's about. Yeah, cool. Cool. Uh, yeah. Peace.